now we are at the Extra Fit shop. We've got a photo shoot lined up. We're doing some picturing, some advertising for Extra Fit. This is one of the reasons why I'm winning fights and I'm big and strong. We train six days a week, two times a day, you know, five, six hours every day. So without the nutrition, you know, the body's going to fall apart. There's not going to be energy to train. Your body will break down. So, you know, you need to get the right nutrition in, uh, the right protein in, the right diet and everything. So it's, it all comes together and it all works out good. Train the part, you gotta look the part. So now we're gonna go to the barber shop, get a freshen up, then we're back in the gym. We've done some training already this morning, sparring, then we'll be back in the gym later again. We've got boxing coming up soon as well. Best barber in London, yeah. And I'm always proud and happy to be cutting this champion because he's my champion always. Mm. You know what I mean? Never fail me yet. You look for, because if you're not nervous then something's wrong. Because if you're about to get in the ring and fight, your body has to kind of psych up and get ready for it. Same if he's on road. You kind of get that sinking feeling in the stomach. You just learn how to deal with it, that's all. I always get nervous. I was so like... Yeah, confidence. Yeah. Channel that energy now. Don't let it consume you. Because you get some people that get so nervous and they get in the ring, they just freeze and they just can't act, they can't react to anything. But if you can channel that nervous, you'll turn that into power, you'll turn it into speed and movement. So it's good. But you kind of you just get used to it. Right? And then when, because you go through different fights and things, so you see more and more things happen in the ring. So like, when something new happens, it's not like, oh shit, I don't know what to do now, because you experience it. You know, I've been in the fight, the first time I got kicked in the balls in the fight, I was thinking, oh, I just, you know, that kind of, what do I do now? Or, you know, it's a different kind of pain or experience or stuff like that. And you just learn how to deal with it. So then when you've had more and more fights, you see everything happen. Because you've seen it before, it's a bit more, okay, well, I know what to deal with if this happens or if that happens. Or, so then you get knocked down. You know, the first time I got knocked down, I was lying on my back like I was sunbathing. Thinking, yeah, I had my hands behind my head like this, like I'm jumping even. I thought, you know, then, then I kind of was like, okay, okay, wait there, I'm on the floor, okay. And then I heard my coach shouting at me, Daddy, come on, get out. I was like, okay, well, right. actually, all right, the fight's still going, all right, got up on my feet, and I was still a bit groggy, kind of, but I had to keep fighting. But, you know, nowadays it's, it's nothing. If you get knocked down, you know, you know it's part of the game. Because there's two heavyweights in there fighting, you can get hit, any heavyweight can knock someone over. So it's just a case, all right, cool, but, you know, you kind of get knocked down. All right, I'm still awake. Get up, keep fighting. Back on the game plan. I've got to do this, got to do that, and just carry on. Yeah. Not in the flesh. I've watched some of his fights on um, on the internet. He's a good fighter. I'll give you props. You're a good fighter. I'm gonna knock you out. Yeah. Simple as like that. I'm gonna knock you out. Yeah. I'm not here to play. That's how we do. Go look sharp on the street. Sharp in the ring, five time Yasin, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. I expect you to knock him out, bro. Yeah. First round, yeah. second, second, <laughs> exactly second. Yeah. Go outside there, go out there, knock him out, bro. Finish him, yeah. so he'll never come back again. Yeah. This is the man, this is the main man. I'm Bless for you. Knock him out, bro. Knock him out, bro. Thank you. Well, this is just around the corner from the gym. I don't know if you can focus over there. You've got the blue building over there. That's my main gym that I train at. So some of the times when I'm early for training or just want to relax for a bit after training, I'll come down here and relax down by the water over a city airport. Normally it's a lot more peaceful than it is now. Now it's a bit darker and it's very windy. But you've got the water there and we're right underneath the runway. So you've got planes that are always taking off and uh, landing over there. Also over this part is where we do our sprint training as well. So we come down here, the boys will run from the gym over here and we do our sprint training up and down here. So this for me is somewhere that sometimes when I just want to uh, peace and quiet away from the gym, away from all the craziness that's going on every day, I just come down here and take a minute out and just relax for a bit and then go off to the gym or carry on my day. So yeah, this is nice for me. You got, as I said, you've got the water down here. We just chill out and I just come down and unwind, relax my mind when I'm down here.
On a pas de T'as le nord plus exactement, c'est dans le sud de la Thaïlande. Ça fait combien d'années que tu viens ici bah, Plus de 10 ans là, ça fait 10 ans, ouais, comme ça, 10 ans. Depuis que j'ai 13 ans. Et on, on est venu ici se relaxer, se faire une petite méditation, réfléchir un peu sur euh, la vie. Voilà. C'est important d'être en relation paisible avec son, son corps et son esprit. Sortir du stress habituel, des gens aigris, des messages méchants, tu vois. Il faut s'éloigner dans un endroit comme celui-là pour revenir un peu mieux dans sa tête. C'est un, un, un petit moment sympathique à passer. En arrivant ici, moi c'était juste des vacances. Puis quand je suis rentré, j'ai eu un, un, un petit malheur dans, dans la vie. C'est Ma mère est décédée, paix, paix à son âme. Et de là, euh, mon frère m'a dirigé vers la boxe taille. Il m'a sorti de, de quelque chose de mal pour en faire quelque chose de bien. Ça m'a inculqué beaucoup de valeur, du respect. Ça m'a aidé à, à me développer. Mon frère m'a sauvé. J'étais dans des camps où, où il y avait des professionnels. C'était un niveau extrême. Et mon frère, il était là avec eux, il s'entraînait, c'était... J'étais là pour le masser, l'aider, je massais un peu tout le monde. Et quand je pouvais m'entraîner et que les entraîneurs me laissaient, eh ben, j'essayais de faire ce que je regardais et je m'appliquais. Mais c'était très dur de, de se faire accepter. Avec les physiques que j'avais et tout. J'ai beaucoup souffert à l'entraînement, j'ai pleuré, j'ai fait des quatre combats par semaine, j'avais des, des blessures, je ne suis pas arrivé là sans, sans, sans douleur. I've been here in North Woolwich for 10 years since this project opened, so I've seen it change quite a bit. I've seen a lot of these young people grow up from when they was running around, coming out of school, eight, nine, ten years old, up until now, they, you know, they're getting on a bit more, so it's good. Um, where we met Dylan just now, I remember I mentioned to you one of the shootings that happened earlier this year. Where we met Dylan there is where the actual shooting occurred, and Kareem ran this way, and he came up along here. Um, we're just going to keep walking up here. Everyone knew him. You know, he's one of the popular guys in the gym. Everybody knew him. But this is what us, you know, this is what we're at Fight for Peace, trying to help stop and change the direction of some of the young people to make better choices and better decisions for themselves. It's very sad, very unfortunate. I started Muay Thai when I was 20, so I started quite late. I used to do a lot of uh, weight training and strength training to try and always wanted to be big. And I always used to think that big meant you could fight. And then the first time I went to uh, Muay Thai, I learned different. It's, it's nothing about size, it's about your technique, it's about your heart, it's about your stamina. Um, so at 20 years old, I changed. I still did a w uh, weight training maybe once or twice a week, but then I switched up and was doing a lot more Muay Thai training. And I fell in love with it straight away. And then so from every day I was training, 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 You know, and I wanted to, at first I didn't actually want to fight, I just wanted to train and learn more about it. And then I was encouraged to have my first fight, um, which I did, and won by knockout of my first fight um, in the second round. And then from then, I just decided to keep going and keep training and keep training. And it just pushed me on until, until now, you know, I've had fights all over the world, fought on some of the top promotions um, in the world with the best fighters I've trained in, with, you know, the top world-class fighters and I've just learned so much from it. It's changed my life and it's, it's helped me to be a better person. And it's that that I want to try and give back to some of the young people around here and actually help them out and give them different directions and show them there's more. What's happening? How are you doing? You training? Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You know, trying to give them a new direction to try and do something better with themselves rather than just be hanging on the street or getting themselves into trouble.
tous les matins, on est là, on est là pour la victoire. This is my lovely girlfriend Karina. She's also my rock, my best friend. She helps me when I'm in training, when I don't feel like training. She's an excellent cook, so she helps in the kitchen. So <laughs> sometimes I'm cooking, sometimes she's cooking. And also you saw from the massage that I was getting, you know, when I'm finishing training sometimes and my body's either tight or in a bit of pain, she can help out with the massage and the rub down as well. Um, she's also got a degree in... Sports science, uh, a master's in strength and conditioning. Uh, and I'm a teacher. So she's not just a pretty face, she actually knows how the body works inside and out 100% so she can give me tips on strength and conditioning work and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's, it helps me out a lot. Yasin, whatever. <laughs> This is still light work. I've still got you all day, every day, all day. By December the 9th, I've got you. Golden fight. This is what we do. The warrior, back in Paris. Easy, easy. Tu sais, heureusement que qu'il a des lacunes physiques un petit peu, tu vois, parce que ce serait le boxeur, euh, un boxeur proche de, de la perfection. Dieu a donné ça, cette capacité à ce garçon de, de défier les lois de la physique malgré son, son profil et son physique hors norme et, et euh, on va dire allez, le phoque. Ça, ça fait rire les gens de voir un, un gros dans sur le ring. Il est opportuniste dans sa boxe, il est nonchalant et et explosif à la fois, c'est des boxes qui ne sont pas courants déjà, et en plus avec son physique, ce qui fait de lui. Euh... Donc, euh, voilà, en fait, que nous, on est, franchement, on est fiers, toi, comme ça. Et tout, on est là, on regarde, on est fiers, et, et c'est un honneur pour moi d'être euh, son grand frère, tu vois. Je ne sais pas si je suis un homme, je ne sais pas si je suis un homme. Je ne I'm coming, December 9th, Paris, Yassin, Uganda, I'm coming. Be ready, because I'm ready.